Hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, Carla. How are you today? Fine, teacher. Tired. Right. Tired. Yes. Did I you work, work today? Yes. Yes. For your day uh, Por los centros de contención está difícil descansar en estos días. Ah, yes, because I remember that today you had day off. Yes, yes. Okay. Uh, but tomorrow, the day off. Day off. Oh, yes, because it's May 1st, it's a holiday. Yes. yes. <laughs> but anyway, well, as long as you're a doctor, you have to, to work even though it's, it's a holiday or not, right? Yes, yes, I know. Yeah, that's part of your job. But I hope, uh, well, I think that you enjoy, you love your job. I love it. Yes, <laughs> that's nice. It's exciting. It's exciting. It's, exciting. it's dangerous. <laughs> well, I, and what about you, Froilan? You weren't in class these days. Were you working, Freeland? Yes, teacher. I I was working in this. Uh, today is my day for resting. Ah, okay. So you work one week and then you rest one week, or not? Mm, repeat, it, teacher. No, no. I don't remember your schedule. I I think that you work one week and you rest the next week or not? Next, next week I I'm going to go resting. Ah, okay, yes. This this week I work work. Okay. Did you check the classes on the videos? I I watch the class. Okay. Monday, well, Tuesday and Wednesday. 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 Uh huh. Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Yes, teacher. You check the video classes. That is good. That's nice. And what about you, Miguel Angel? How are you today? Well, hello, teacher. Um, I I wore I wore in in the bar. Ah, what a very hard day. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I imagine because it's the last day of April, right? Yes, teacher. Well, but tomorrow you're going to rest, I suppose. Um, tomorrow day off, no work. No, no, no work. Tomorrow no work. <laughs> okay, uh, that's nice. Yes. You will sleep all day. Are you going to work at home? What are your plans for tomorrow? Oh, no, no plans tomorrow. No plans. Watching TV and that's it. In my house. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, what about you, Iris? How are you today? Uh, very well. Very well. Did you finish the homework with your kids? Uh, yes, yeah. the homework today, yes. Okay, that's perfect. Did you check the platform? Uh, yes. Did you complete the exercises? Um, de la segunda parte, solo, solo hasta la primera. Uh, uh -huh. Section examen. two. Ah, okay, the, yeah. Yeah, no, that is good. Congratulations. And the rest of you guys, what can you tell us? How was your day, Maria? Hi, good evening. Good evening, Maria. How was your day? Well, my day was great. In the morning, I woke up at 10, 10 a.m. Wow. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And suddenly I prepared, I, I did work offices. Ah. Yeah. Are Just you working that. from home? Yeah. 
No, no, I, I, I am not working. Uh, work office, like uh, office domestic. No se dice así. Ah, so it is um, household chores. Church. Chores, ajá. Chores. Ah, okay. Como chores, así se escribe chores. Chores. Church. Church. Ajá. Uh -huh. sí. Chores, así como se oye, C-H-O-R-E-S, chores. Church, ok, chores. I did church at home. Ah, that's nice, that's nice. And the rest of you? Any volunteer? Did you learn something new today? Anything interesting that you have done? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Adonai. I'm Adonai, yes. Ah. My day is, is more interesting. Okay, tell us yeah. about it. Uh, I'm working now. You are not working or you are working? Yes, I'm working now. Oh, you're working. What do you do? Yes. What do you do, Adonai? What's your occupation? My occupation is police officer. Ah, okay. Yes. And you, you are working every day. Yes, working every day. I with know. My coworkers. Okay. Well, that is and nice. This emergency for coronavirus. I know. I think about doctors and police officers every day. I don't have free time. It's I a hard work. Time. Yes. And you work long hours under the sun with that uniform. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> but well, you are part of our heroes. Thanks, teacher. So let's give a yeah. clap for Adonai. <laughs> <laughs> and for Carla, Thanks, too. <laughs> yeah. And there is another doctor here, but I believe him. No, he's not here. Okay, let's wait for him. I want you to write your names because I see some people is the, for example, here is the one which is a Huawei, but I don't know your name. Tienen algunos el nombre del dispositivo, por eso no puedo saber. Hi. Anybody else who would like to share about your Day. Hi, teacher. Hi, how are you? I'm fine. How was your day? Oh, uh, that's exciting. I had some meetings at, at morning, uh, and at afternoon, I'm making some planning of project. Ah, okay, that is interesting. Yes, it has uh, some information. We don't have some information yet, but we are making some progress every day. That's, that's nice. Good for you. Congratulations. Okay. Well, um, yesterday we were discussing a little bit about um, what people do. And I'm sure that you know some, you have some vocabulary about different occupations, right? And I have here a presentation. Maybe you find any new word here, so one or two new words here. So I'm going to share the presentation with you. So you can check it. And um, this is about some jobs, the name of some occupations. I'm going to share the audio. Okay, what is the name of this occupation? Can you guess? An actor. An actor. An actor. An actor. An actor. An actor. Yes. actor. An actress. 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 An actress. An architect. 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 Yes. A painter. 
artist. 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 Uh, an artist. artist. An artist. An artist. Artist. Astronaut. 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 Athlete. 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 Baker, ajá, la ocupación es Baker, panadería es Bakery, yeah, solo le agregamos la I. Baker. Ah. Um, barber. 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 Yes, barber. Okay. Builder. Mm -hmm. Building. I'm not sure it's a builder. Bricklayer. 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 A lawyer. Lawyer. Businessman. Businessman. What about this one? Is that new for you? Es nueva para ustedes? Yes. How do you say carnicero? Carnicero. Carnicero. <laughs> Meat. Butcher. 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 Carpenter. 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 Engineer. Computer program. Computer program. Program. Chef. Yeah. Okay, you can call it chef cook. or cook. Se puede decir chef o cook. Dancer. 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 Yes, dancer. Dentist. 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 Doctor. 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 Yeah. Doctor. A fighter. Electrical. Electrician. Electrician. Uh-huh. Electrician. 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 Factory worker. Factory worker. Factory worker. Factory worker. Factory worker. Esto es como un técnico, ¿cómo? De, ajá, de fábrica. Es un trabajador de fábrica. Farmer. 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 Okay, this is a farmer. Farmer, yes. Farmer. 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 Fireman. 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 Hairdresser. Hairdresser es un estilista, estilista de cabello. Hairdresser. Housewife. 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 Uh -huh. Ama de casa. Housewife. Yes. Uh -huh. 
Oh man. Oh yeah. Lawyer. 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 Abogado. Ah, okay. Lawyer. Lawyer. Okay. Mm. Housekeeping. May. Made. 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 Mechanic. 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 Musician. 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 Yes, musician. Office work. Office worker. Painter. 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 Pilot. 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 Taylor. 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 Shop assistant. Shop assistant. Shop assistant. Shop assistant. Este se va a poner de moda. <laughs> Singer. Singer. Street sweeper. 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 Street Better. Bet. 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 Es diferente cuando es para um, masculino es waiter, femenino waitress. Waitress, waiter, waitress. 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 waitress, waitress. And this one is no, no, soldier. soldier. No, no. Soldier, soldado. No, no. Soldier, soldier. No, no. Soldier, no. Well there. Brighter. 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 Okay, right. these are some occupation. So, creo que habían algunas nuevas por ahí, ¿verdad? 
And uh, well, yesterday we were working with profession occupations a little with the conversation. Remember the conversation? Where do you work? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we work at, we um work on that yesterday. So for today we're going to work a little bit more with the same topic, professions, occupations, and then we're going to go with the questions, okay? Here we have some vocabulary um, describing some professions, some occupations. For example, if you see the first one, this is a sales person, sales clothes in a department store. Uh -huh. A sales person sells clothes in a department store. What what is the description for a chef? The number two. Food. 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 Okay, a chef cooks food in a restaurant. Very good. A mechanic. A mechanic fixes cars in a garage. A garage is a taller garage. Así se le llaman a los talleres mecánicos también garage. Okay, a carpenter. Will house. Build this house. Will house. Okay, a carpenter builds houses in a construction company. That's great. Now, reporter. Right. A reporter right. writes a story for a new paper. New paper. Okay, very good. A reporter writes stories for a newspaper. And the last one, a nurse. In a hospital. Okay, those are some short descriptions of some professions and occupations. Okay, we're going to watch a video that is in the platform. I know that some of you haven't checked the content, but some of you have checked it. So we're going to see the video about the yes, no questions, and the WH questions in simple present. And then I'm going to explain a little bit more. Okay. By the end of this lesson, participants will be able to understand and use Simple Present. Simple Present WH Questions and Statements. What do you do? I'm a student. I a job. Where do you work? I work at a restaurant. Where do you go to school? I go to the University of Texas. Where does Andrea work? She works at Thomas Cook Travel. What does she do? She's a guide. She takes people on tours. How does she like it? She loves it. I, you, work, take, study, teach, do, go, have, he, she, works, takes, studies, teaches, does, goes, has. Now that you have watched the video, I'm sure you noticed the changes on the verbs when talking on third person singular. For example, we say, I, you work, he, she works. I, you take, he, she takes. 
this inflection happens only in third person singular affirmative sentences. Also, take note that when we ask any type of questions in simple present, as in this case we're using WH question words, we must use the auxiliary do for I, you, we, they, and does for he, she, it. When we put everything together, this is how the structure will look like. We have WH question word, plus auxiliary, plus a subject, plus the verb in its base form, plus complement, plus question mark. Now what I want you to do is to type in a WH simple present question in our discussion box. No, I no lo copy. Uh, what? Lo querían Say copy. Didn't copy. <laughs> what? What did didn't you copy? The structure. You wanted to copy the structure. Querían copiar la estructura? Yes, this video yes. is on a platform. Yes, the video is on the platform. Es lo que está en la plataforma. En el video se les explica cómo se forman los, eh, las preguntas en simple present con do y con das. Okay. Son dos tipos de preguntas, como ya lo hemos visto antes con el verbo to be. Eh, con el simple pass, creo que vimos un poquito de esto antes de finalizar el módulo anterior. Ahora, eh, yes, no question es, um, ok, voy a compartir la pizarra. Una yes, no question en el presente simple, que no sea con el verbo to be, les explicaba el video que lleva la estructura. Al principio va a colocar el auxiliar do o... Das. Das. Dependiendo de qué? Del sujeto. Ajá. Luego va a ubicar el sujeto. Plus verb. Luego el verbo. El verbo va a ir en forma simple. Quiere decir que no le va a estar haciendo cambios de agregarle S o S, nada, sí. aunque sea tercera persona, no. Se les recuerda, según el video, solo es en la oración afirmativa tercera persona singular que se hace ese cambio de la S y todo lo que mencionábamos, ¿verdad? So, en preguntas el verbo lo vamos a dejar en su forma simple, ¿ok? Entonces la estructura de la yes no question es el auxiliar va a ser duodas dependiendo del sujeto. Luego el sujeto, luego el verbo. Puede que tengamos un complemento. Y luego al final el signo de pregunta para cerrar. Por ejemplo, si le quiero preguntar, ¿tu hermana trabaja en una oficina? ¿Cómo iría la pregunta si yo quiero saber si su hermana trabaja en una oficina? Voy a usar do. Sí, o works. Voy a usar das al principio porque me refiero a una tercera persona singular. ¿Quién es? Ella es tu hermana. Sister. Your sister. Ajá. Ese es el sujeto, tu hermana. Es tercera persona singular, entonces voy a usar das. Cuando sea tercera persona singular, es decir, he, she, it, vamos a usar das. Ok, tengo el auxiliar, das. Sujeto, your sister. ¿Cuál era el verbo? Work. 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 Ok, excelente. Work. In the office. El complemento. In the office. In the office. Does your sister work in an office? Uh -huh. Sí. Yes. Yeah. Yes, she does. Ok, en la respuesta podemos decir si es afirmativa, yes, coma, no, she it does. She does work. O si es negativa, decimos no, coma, she doesn't. She doesn't. She doesn't. Ok. Ahora, yo quiero saber, 
Si usted trabaja todo el día, ¿trabajas tú todo el día? ¿Cómo sería la pregunta? Do you work? How much time do you work? All the time. Do you work? How much? How much do you work? Do you work all day? Quiero saber si trabaja todo el día. Do you work all day? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. <laughs> no, I don't. Excelente. Ahora, si quiero saber cuánto tiempo, how much time do you work? O how many hours do you work? Pero esas ya son el otro tipo de preguntas. Ok, este decimos que son yes, no question, ¿verdad? Empiezan yes. con o con das, dependiendo del sujeto. Y luego así vamos a ir siguiendo esa estructura, duda, sujeto, verbo, complemento. Ahora, las WH questions, esas no se pueden responder con un sí o con un no, ¿verdad? Tenemos que dar información. Dependiendo de qué queremos preguntar, es la palabra que vamos a poner primero. ¿Cuáles son las WH words? What, where, what, when, where, where, which, when, which, how, oh. uh, why, why, okay. why, quiero saber oh. cuándo, cuándo es que usted trabaja, cuándo usted trabaja, when, Entonces, when do you work, ajá, le voy a quitar aquí para when que vean you, que es la misma estructura prácticamente, work? solo le voy a poner aquí la WH word. When, when do you work? Entonces aquí es básicamente esto. Es básicamente así. Teacher, what is the correct form for express the question? What time do you work or or or, or sorry, I forget. You can say it in Spanish. M más que todo la gramática la explico en español para que sea más fácil que me entienda. Ok. Que si es, es, se puede usar de dos formas, cuando ella trabaja y a qué hora ella trabaja. Ajá, sí, claro, porque si yo le pregunto, when do you work? Eh, ¿Cuándo? Trabajo de lunes a viernes. I work from Monday to Friday. I work uh, three days a week. Trabajo tres días a la semana. Pero si quiero saber a qué horas trabaja, ¿cuál sería la pregunta? What sería, time? What time? What? Aquí la palabra sería la frase what time. Luego el auxiliar, do. Sujeto, you. you work. Y podemos ponerle a qué horas empiezas a trabajar. What, do you start? What time do you start? Start work. Ajá. What time do you start work? Ah, I start work at 8 p.m. <laughs> ok. Start, start work es correcto, teacher. Start work. Ajá. Empieza a hacer trabajo. La palabra work es verbo y también es nombre. Es el trabajo. Pero para hacer... Eh, tiene dos funciones la palabra work. Si lo utilizo como nombre, trabajo, está bien así. Pero si lo uso como verbo, entonces lo tendré que se, separar. ¿A qué empiezas a trabajar? Ahí está funcionando cuando, como verbo. ¿A qué horas empiezas a trabajar? Aquí tengo que separarlo con el tú. Pero si es nombre, ¿a qué horas empieza tu trabajo? No importa el tú ahí. Puede ser de cualquiera de las dos. O, oh, what time do you finish work? Podría ser otra posible pregunta. Si se dan cuenta, hemos seguido la estructura. Así como está así, están las dos. Yes, no questions. Y está la estructura de las information questions, ¿verdad? Ahora, 
Antes de empezar la clase, les mandé unos links. Lo que ustedes vieron en las plataformas, el video de la plataforma y, y trae sus ejercicios, ¿verdad? Ahí lo van a hacer ustedes cuando tengan su uh, disponibilidad de tiempo, ¿verdad? Eh, al, yo sé que algunos van bien con los ejercicios. He visto que han estado trabajando. Hemos estado tratando, peleando un poquito con la plataforma, especificándole las respuestas, etc. <risa> okay. um, listo. En, el, en su WhatsApp les mandé unos enlaces, ¿verdad? Son los que tenemos acá para practicar este tema de las WH, de las Yes No Questions en presente simple. El primer enlace que les mandé es, voy a bajar esto que no me deja ver acá. Este es el primer enlace. No, no es este. Es este. No, tampoco. ¿Por qué no me lo muestra? Ok. Tienen un enlace, dos, tres, aquí tampoco me lo muestra. No sé si pueden ver la pantalla. Yes. Yes. Quiero ver qué es lo que mirábamos ahí. Ok, voy a intentar de nuevo. Compartir. Es esta. Este es el primer enlace. Ok. Los primeros dos enlaces son de yes, no question. Quiere decir que la pregunta... Va a empezar con el auxiliar, ¿verdad? Va a empezar con do o con das. Ok. Lo yes. pueden ir haciendo aquí o lo pueden hacer si tienen, eh, eh, si están en la computadora, pueden estar en el celular haciendo lo del enlace. Por ejemplo, aquí, I sing well. ¿Cuál sería la correcta? Do. 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 Uh -huh. do I sing well? Do I sing well? Do I sing well? Do you play football? Do you play football? Do you play football? Does he read books? Does he read books? Does he read books? Does he read books? Okay, very good. Does she speak English? Does she speak English? Does she speak English? Does she eat banana? Do we play games? Do we play games? Do we play games? Do we play games? Do they go to school? Do we play games? Do we play games? Do we play games? Das, 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 like das, das, Vamos a someter esta respuesta. Vamos a usar un comodín para esta respuesta. Quizás 50 y 50. ¿Cuánto dice? Das, 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 si es das, díganme por qué. Porque es para eso, no. que, o animal. Es plural, es plural. 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 Se utiliza para animales, cosas o nombres. Ok, el it es singular, ¿verdad? Yes. Cuando singular. es it, it, nos referimos a tercera persona singular. Pero aquí está en plural. Plural. Quiero sí. sí. ellos. Plural. Perros. Muchos. Y gatos. Entonces sería. Es do. 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 Dogs like cats. Porque está en plural. Si estuviera en singular. Dogs. Si dijera dog, un solo perro. Yes. Entonces sí utilizaría das. Veamos cómo nos fue. Check. Ah, cero. Espérense, es que los lo dejé abiertos. Es que, es de, es que tiene que seguir. Para 
Das. 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 Das es singular. Du. Du. Vamos a ver. Ok, quizás tengo que salirme totalmente y volver a ingresar para que me dé el, el total. Eh, intenten ingresar. Yo lo hice y también me da cero. Yo, yo lo hice aquí en el teléfono y me da cero. A mí también me da cero. Yo pensé que estaba bien mal. No, pero algo anda es mal que, con esta plata. No, es que hay más ejercicios. No, hay más no, no, ejercicios. No, no, no porque hice los otros pasa. links y los otros links se me dio la calificación. Ajá. Sí, es una por... Intenten en el segundo link, en su teléfono. Ok. Exercise. Question two, dots. Ya lo hice, ya me dio 100% en Igual. el segundo ejercicio. Este será el porcentaje. No sé si quiero ver si me miro la. Ahí está. ciento en la segunda. Pero en la primera daba 0%.
Okay, a couple of ten. Y los demás.